Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. My name is Shah Abdul. Today I'm excited to show you how you build, how to build, train and deploy AI models quickly using Azure AI Studio. This is a low code, no code platform, which means you don't need to be a machine learning expert to start creating amazing AI solutions. Let's jump right in. So first thing first, let's go into the Azure portal. You can do that by going to portalazure.com. Once you log in, head over to the search bar and type Azure AI Studio. So once you tap AI Studio, you will see in the services Azure AI Studio or you can go to the AI all services and find Azure AI Studio. Um, click on Azure Studio in the source results and it will bring you the AI Studio dashboard. From here, we're going to create a new Azure AI, AI Hub first. Now that we are logging to our Azure AI Studio, let's create our first AI Hub. This is where we'll be managing our AI models, data and resources. Let me show you how to get started. Once you are in the uh, Azure AI Studio, you'll notice there are no hub listed yet. Let's go ahead and create one by clicking the new Azure AI Hub button at the top. This brings us the basic tab. Here we need to configure some essential setting for our uh, new AI hub. Basic configurations. In this section, we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll define the subscription resources group and region for our Azure AI hub. Under subscription, I'm choosing PSU Go, which is suitable for the most users. Next, select uh, O, Create a resources group. Resources group helps to organize all related resources for your project. Uh, so I'm going to create a new. Let me say, do um, AI hub. Uh, you can name whatever you want. Okay. Now the 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 third one is. Uh, choose a region based on where your users are located. I'll go with the West US 3 for this demo. Now let's name our uh, AI hub. I'll call it my first AI hub and provide a friendly name which is optional for easier uh, identification. Um, now let me see default reasons go i'm going to keep it blank because uh, uh, a base model i'm going to keep that as a black and i'm going to hit next for the storage now that we have set the basic we're going to move to the storage tab this is where you configure how your data is stored here we need to create a or select a storage account and a key wall for secure access to store data. If you don't have any setup, you can create a new ones directly from this interface. Since I'm going to keep it everything is default, you can see storage account select, keyboard select, and I'm going to keep it default and hit the next one for the networking tab. So next we have the networking tab in here. And this is important if you are handling sensitive data or working in an isolated environment. There's a several options for network isolations. For most projects, using public will be fine as it allows easy access to Azure resources. However, if you are working with private data, uh, you may want to choose private with internet outbound or private with approved outbound so i'm going to keep it public and i'm going to uh, go to the next tab encryption so let's talk about securing your data in the encryption tab 
You can choose between using Microsoft Manage Keys or providing your own keys. I'll go with Microsoft Manage Keys for now, which is default option. This keeps your data encrypted without needing to manage your own keys. Right? So let's go and next identity. Next, we are in the identity tab. This is where we configure how Azure AI Hub will authenticate and manage access to resources like your storage account. We can either use system assign or use assign identities for authentication. I'll stick with the system assign, which is easier for this project. And I'm going to keep it default everything. And I'm going to hit next tags. I'm going to keep it default. And I'm going to next review and create section. Now that we have gone through the major settings, it's time to review everything before creating our AI hub. Now we can see uh, basic subscription, PSU Go, resources group, I create a new one. And I put give the new name region. I use the best US3 AI services, storage down and keyword application insights, container registry. Everything's keep default and not working. I use the public and encryption. I use the Microsoft Managed Keys, identity, and system assign, storage account access type is credential base, shared key access enable. Click uh review and crude at the bottom to see the summary of your all your settings if everything looks good uh, you can hit that this create to deploy the hub I'm going to hit that create you can see it's initializing and still is doing all the necessary information deployment progress deployment is resources group azure ai hub is in progress you can see uh, this icon is is telling you that deployment is in progress so everything everything looks good you should get a way you have successful set up your azure ai hub you can see i see two green and one more to go now everything looks go good, awesome. Our Azure AI Hub deployment is now complete. Let's take a closer look at what just happened here. As you can see, Azure has successfully deployed all the necessary resources for our AI Hub. This includes our AI Hub itself along with some important additional resources like cognitive services, storage account, uh, and key vault now first one my first hub with the different uh, has some different uh, components in here so let's go one by one my first hub this is the central AI hub resources that allows us to build train and manage our AI models and after that we can see a uh, Cognitive services, this is provides essential AI functionalities like natural language processing, vision and decision services. And next is storage account. This will store any data, models or logs that our AI projects generate. Next, key vault. This is where all sensitive information like keys, passwords and secrets are securely uh, stored. Everything in place and ready for use. The status column shows that all resources have been deployed successfully. At this point, we can click go resources, go to resources to dive deeper into the AI hub and start setting up our first AI model. This is where the real magic happens. <laughs> and in the next part, my next video, I'll show you how to upload data and start training on AI models in Azure AI Studio. 
that wrap up the deployment phase if you follow along you should now have your own very own ai hub ready to go make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the next video where we dive into a training your first ai model see you next one and always stay samurai sharp